Let's talk a little bit about detail wire bending. One of the best things about nickel titanium arch wires is it has shape memory. So no matter how it's bent, twisted, deformed, you know, it regains its original shape and brings the teeth along for the ride. But because of that shape memory, it cannot hold bends for detailing. Okay, you need to have a wire that will maintain bends, steel, or another option is uh, beta titanium, which is also known as, known as TMA. Okay, again, you need to use steel or beta titanium arch wires. Do not use nickel titanium arch wires for detail bending. The bend will not be crisp and it will not stay put. Shape memory, it's going to come back. It'll still be deformed, but it won't come back. It won't be a crisp bend. You won't get a nice, clean detailing bed. And detailing is all about crisp, okay? Now, you just use that specialized step plier, like we talked about after we're doing the intrusion piggyback or the extrusion open bite piggyback. They come in various sizes, uh, you know, from like a half a millimeter up to like six millimeters. I have one. I use a one millimeter step bend. If I need two millimeters, uh, you can place two really close to each other. If it's more than that, I'm repositioning a bracket, okay? Uh, and if it's a half millimeter, I'm usually polishing the tooth, okay? Uh, so one millimeter step bend is, a uh, step bend player is ideal. And that's what it will look like, you know, inside view, the working action of the step player. You literally just squeeze your hands together on, you know, the grips of the player and it's going to uh, form that wire and give you that one millimeter step bend. Okay, so squeeze very firmly so you get a nice crisp bend and it will form that step bend of one millimeter. And here's a video showing how we do it. In this case, we're going to do it to, uh, you know, change the position of a lateral incisor. So in the proper spot, squeeze very firmly. And you see how we have a nice crisp bend and now squeeze in the other spot, and now you have another nice crisp bend. And what I'll do at this stage is I'll set that on the table and make sure it's nice and flat, and then see what you do is you just ligate it into the bracket slots, and you can see that one millimeter step is moving, gonna move that tooth in sizely a millimeter. So if it was short, this would extrude that tooth and help even out your inside the ledges. Okay, like so. It'll help extrude that tooth that millimeter, and even out your incisal ledges. Now you can do step up bends to intrude, step down bends to extrude. Those are going to be the most common. But you could also do step in bends and step out bends for, you know, buccal lingual discrepancies. But most common are up and down bends. Okay, so let's say you have a situation like this. You have an extruded lateral incisor, maybe you got the bracket on there, you know, not quite 100% right, and we want to intrude this to improve the incisal edge and the, also the gingival discrepancy, okay? Just place a step bend around that tooth and then retie it and it will go ahead and push that tooth uh, gingively. step down bend we'll do just the opposite we want to go ahead and extrude that tooth so what we do is we place a step down bend and that will help bring that tooth down leveling the incisal edge and also the gingival now if you want to bring all four of those down you can place a step bend you know in between the canine and the lateral and this is also this kind of bend we do post extrusion open bite piggyback to maintain what we've done because remember your bracket slots aren't lined up. So we're going to go ahead and place this bend. We would just go ahead and mark the position we want it to go. Come in with your player 90 degrees, squeeze very firmly to give yourself a nice crisp bend. Mark the other side and then make the bend in that position. Okay and now you have a nice step bend in this case between the uh, canine and lateral incisor to keep those teeth down post piggyback. Okay, here's just one where we've done a couple of step bends. Okay, you, there's no limit to the amount you can do if you have to, you know, uh, finalize the incisal position of, of teeth. Okay, so we just went ahead and placed some step bends 
to go ahead and correct some incisal gingival discrepancies. Okay, so again, you want to extrude a tooth, put a step down bend. You want to intrude it, you put a step up bend for as many teeth as you need.